What's up guys, we're back today with another video about Hex, Pulse Chain, and PulseX ecosystem. So the question of the day, is Hex a scam? In this video, we're going to share our thoughts on Hex, and the explanations we are going to give as well as the examples come from Richard Hart himself. Watch this video all the way through so you don't miss anything. Hi, Cryptopreneurs. What is your favorite crypto? Let us know in the comments. If you like making crazy money with crypto, this is the place for you. Here, we explore new gems and explain the best, new, tiny, undervalued cryptos with 100x or 1000x potential. You will also find all the news of the crypto space every day. So, make sure to subscribe and activate notifications for all the upcoming videos. Follow us on our social channels and join us members for added perks. Now, let's get started. Cryptocurrency is one of the only places in the world where you can make millions of percentage returns. For example, we've had Bitcoin make over 6.5 million X since it was launched. But Bitcoin, as amazing as it is, has flaws, it has mistakes, it has bugs, it is bad for the environment, and it doesn't make technical progress very quickly. The best thing it has going for it is that there's a lot of liquidity. So if you're a billionaire and you need to buy for a billion dollars, the price moves the least against you. But in every other aspect, except that, there are superior technologies. So why not just solve some of the problems? And a lot of people have tried to do that before, and they got kicked out of the Bitcoin community because they didn't have a very progressive mindset. Bitcoin has set out to be a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency. That's the title of the white paper. Yet no one is using it that way. Fewer retailers are accepting it today than three years ago. There are fewer transactions on the chain than there were three years ago. The throughput is about the same as it was three years ago. That's not how the technology is supposed to work. So if you want anonymity or smart contracts, stable coins or time deposits, which is what Hex is, you can't do any of that with Bitcoin. It's an old technology that will probably be outdated by other things. Now, what does Hex do? Hex is essentially Bitcoin, but instead of proof of work, which rewards miners with Bitcoin for destroying the environment, Hex is instead proof of stake. Now, fortunately, about two thirds of the Bitcoin mining is done using renewable energy, but one third does not, and that one third is a lot. So what if you just replace the proof of work where you pay miners to lower the price and then take that money and go destroy the environment with it? What if you took away all those negative externalities and instead paid inflation to the people who drove the price up? This is what banks do. Banks use proof of time when they give you a time deposit or a certificate of deposit. The time value of money is very well understood in the traditional markets, and absolutely no cryptocurrency has been designed to deal with it, except Hex. The thing Hex most resembles is Bitcoin. Bitcoin miners earn interest. They buy equipment and electricity and they mint their own rewards out of thin air. The amount of your reward is based on how many people are competing with you for that reward, and the person who rewards you is yourself. For example, if you draw yourself a nice painting, you now have a nice painting. If you clean your room, you now have a clean room. If you mine Bitcoin, you now have Bitcoin. You can sell them, you can keep them, and it's the same with Hex. If you stick your Hex for a while, you can finish your staking and you can get a reward in extra Hex. If a lot of people are staking, the reward decreases in terms of Hex, but the value of the token will increase. If few people stake, the reward increases in Hex terms. Now the most important part is the value of those Hex. If you bought Hex on January 5th of last year and held it until a few months ago, you would have earned 386,000%, not including interest. With interest, you would have earned between 30% and 100% on top of that. That's incredible. Yes, it's impossible, and that's the strength of cryptocurrencies. You might think it's a scam. Nothing could have such good returns. And then you look at Bitcoin, and it's gone up 6.5 million X in 11 years. You look at Ethereum, and it's up 14,000 X in five years. So being 3,860 X in a year and a half is actually very similar to what Bitcoin and Ethereum have done since their launch. 
So that's the norm for crypto investing. As Richard Hart himself explained in a video, when an exchange makes billions of dollars as these margin exchanges do, where do you think this money comes from? Actually, it's coming from the destruction of its users. They wear these people down. They liquidate them and they lose their savings. And they don't just lose their money, they lose their health, they lose their time, they lose their relationships. This is what most cryptocurrencies are. There's a middleman, which the cryptocurrency was created to get rid of, right? Margin trading, exchanges, there they are, the middleman. Everything happens on the trader side. There's a guy looking at a screen and another guy looking at his on the other side. They are trying to steal each other's money. One of them thinks the price is going up and the other guy thinks the price is going down. And how does the exchange benefit? Because they don't care if the price goes up or down. As long as these two guys get liquidated over and over again, they'll end up with nothing. And you end up with a world of very rich exchanges and very poor users because they did the opposite of what crypto was invented for and gave their money to a middleman. Instead of buying and holding your money to outperform Bitcoin's 6.5 million X returns or outperform Hex's 380,000% returns in a year and a half, these guys got wrecked by being greedy. They should have delayed their gratification. That way, they could have benefited from all that performance. And Richard Hart built the thing that delayed gratification, and that's Hex. Again, those who delay gratification and those who invest will benefit more. All personal development is being choosing something better in the long run than in the short run. Imagine how many Bitcoin millionaires there would be if they didn't try to trade it, if they didn't try to time the market, if they didn't try all the stupid things they try and just buy it and hold it. The people who forgot they had a flash drive full of Bitcoins are the ones who made the most money because they kept their hands off their earnings. You're probably thinking that it's hard to sit through a 6.5 million X return, right? Well, the average interest rate in HEX is 37%. So while you're waiting for that return, you'll already be enjoying a guaranteed 37%. Here, the main component is time. So the average stake is 5.8 years. And so it rewards you. It's meritocracy. It rewards you based on what you deserve to be rewarded. Only 10% of the coins are put into play. That's why the returns are so high. If more coins are put into play, then their yield and hex terms will be lower. But as a result, the price is likely to be higher because the supply has been reduced further. It's a self-balancing system. Now, do you think hex is a scam? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. We hope we are able to provide some value and help you move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur. Get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market. And make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.